The Yanamani, also spelled Yanamamo or Yanamana, are a group of approximately 35,000 indigenous people who live in some 200 to 250 villages in the Amazon rainforest on the border between Venezuela and Brazil. The ethnonym Yanamani was produced by anthropologists on the basis of the word Yanamani, which, in the expression Yanamani the P, signifies human beings. This expression is opposed to the categories Yaro. According to ethnologist Jacques Lizot, Yanamani is the Indian self denomination. Dot the term refers to communities disseminated to the south of the Orinoco. The variant Yanamavi is used to refer to communities north of the Orinoco. The term Sanama corresponds to a dialect reserved for a cultural subgroup, much influenced by the neighboring Yikuana people. Other denominations applied to the Yanamani include Wicca or Waika, Gyaka, Shiriana, Shirishnana, Gwaharibo or Gwajaribo, Yanoma, Ninam, and Zamatari or Shamatari. The first report of the Yanamani to the Western world is from 1759, when a Spanish expedition under Apollinar Diaz de la Fuente visited some Yikuana people living on the Padamo River. Diaz wrote, by interlocution of an Uramanavi Indian, I asked Chief Yoni if he had navigated by the Orinoco to its headwaters. He replied yes, and that he had gone to make war against the Guaharibo Indians, who were not very brave, dot and who will not be friends with any kind of Indian. From approximately 1630 to 1720, the other river-based indigenous societies who lived in the same region were wiped out or reduced as a result of slave hunting expeditions by the conquistadors and bandirantes. How this affected the Yanamani is unknown. Sustained contact with the outside world began in the 1950s with the arrival of members of the new tribes mission as well as Catholic missionaries from the Society of Jesus and Salesians of Don Bosco. In Roraima, the 1970s saw the implementation of development projects within the framework of the national integration plan, launched by the Brazilian military governments of the time. This meant the opening of a stretch of perimeter road and various colonization programs on land, traditionally occupied by the Yanamani. During the same period, the Amazonian Resources Survey Project Radam detected important mineral deposits in the region. This triggered a progressive movement of gold prospectors which after 1987 took the form of a real gold rush. Hundreds of clandestine runways were opened by gold miners in the major tributaries of the Branco River between 1987 and 1990. The number of gold miners in the Yanamani area of Roraima was then estimated at 30 to 40,000, about five times the indigenous population resident there, although the intensity of this gold rush has subsided greatly since 1990. Gold prospecting continues today in the Yanamani land, spreading violence and serious health and social problems. Increasing pressure from farmers, cattle ranchers, and gold miners, as well as those interested in securing the Brazilian border by constructing roads and military bases near Yanamani communities, led to a campaign to defend the rights of the Yanamani to live in a protected area. In 1978 the Pro-Yanamani Commission was established, originally named the Commission for the Creation of a Yanamani Park. It is a Brazilian non-governmental non-profit organization dedicated to the defense of the territorial, cultural, and civil and political rights of the Yanamani. CCPY devoted itself to a long national and international campaign to inform and sensitize public opinion and put pressure on the Brazilian government to demarcate an area suited to the needs of the Yanamani. After 13 years the Yanamani indigenous land was officially demarcated in 1991 and approved and registered in 1992, thus ensuring that indigenous people had the constitutional right to the exclusive use of almost 96,650 square kilometers located in the states of Roraima and Amazonas. The Alto Orinoco Cacique Biosphere Reserve was created in 1993 with the objective of preserving the traditional territory and lifestyle of the Yanamani and Yikuana peoples. However, while the constitution of Venezuela recognizes indigenous peoples' rights to their ancestral domains, 
Few have received official title to their territories and the government has announced it will open up large parts of the Amazon rainforest to legal mining. The Yanamani do not recognize themselves as a united group, but rather as individuals associated with their politically autonomous villages. Yanamani communities are grouped together because they have similar ages and kinship. And militaristic coalitions interweave communities together. The Yanamani have common historical ties to Carib speakers who resided near the Orinoco River and moved to the highlands of Brazil and Venezuela. The location the Yanamani currently occupy. Macho men hold most political and religious authority. A Texavar acts as the leader of each village. But no single leader presides over.